guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the common winged eyeliner mistakes that I see. And then at the very end, I'll also show you how to fix it. Now bear in mind in this video, I'm really not trying to offend anybody. If you do your eyeliner in a way that I've said is wrong, please don't be offended. That's just my opinion. Feel free to ignore me if I have offended you. And I'd also like to point out that I am completely not perfect. Um, so many of these mistakes when I was like researching them to make this video, I was like, okay, I do that, I do that, I've done that, I still do that. So I learned a lot in making this video as well and I'm definitely not perfect and I don't claim to be the best at winged eyeliner, but I do try. <laughs> I will link the products that I've used in this video in the description box down below along with all the makeup that I'm wearing on my face at the moment. I have done a tutorial on this makeup. It is my everyday go-to makeup look. I'll put a card in the top corner for you so that you can watch that after this video. Okay, now let's get straight into the video. Mistake one is a super super common one that I see all the time and that is a visible gap between your eyeliner and your waterline. To have that really seamless classic eyeliner look you really want to avoid that visible gap because it just doesn't have the right effect. Mistake number two is a wing that is too thick. Instead of elongating the eye like a good eyeliner is supposed to do, a thick wing kind of creates a look of a stumpy heavy eye which nobody really wants. Three is when your wing forms a right angled corner. This has a similar effect to mistake number two in that it creates a look of a beady, stumpy eye rather than a wide, elongated eye. Mistake number four. This is an extremely common mistake that I see all the time, and that is to have your liner the same thickness all the way through from the inner corner of your eye to the wing itself. Whether it be too thick or too thin, a liner that is the same width across your entire eye might define your eye, but it doesn't give you that gorgeous, elongated a cat eye effect that winged liner is known for. Mistake number five is a wing that is too curly. A winged liner is supposed to look like an extension of your lash line and protrude almost horizontally from the outer corner of your eye. A wing that is too curly just doesn't look quite right. Your wing forms a triangle. Again, this is a really common mistake and I see it all the time, but it's also very easily fixed and I'll demonstrate how to do that at the end of this video. And the last mistake is when your liner is too thick across the eyelid and your wing too small in comparison. With this mistake, the liner takes up almost your entire mobile lid and the wing, which should be the thickest part of the liner, is just a tiny vague flick at the end of your eye. This common mistake can make your eyes look really heavy and almost sunken. Okay, so now it's time for me to show you how I believe is the easiest and quickest and most foolproof way to achieve the perfect winged liner every time. Step number one, I'm going to start off by following my lower lash line and drawing an almost horizontal line extending from it. Towards the end of that line, gently and gradually lift the liner off your skin so that your wing has a beautiful tapered end to it. Next, draw a slightly curved triangle, starting from about a quarter of the way down that line that you just drew. This is a really easy way to make sure that the wing is going to elongate the look of your eye rather than shorten it. Now what you want to do is carefully fill in that triangle. It's kind of like colouring in between the lines and make sure to stay within the stencil that you've drawn for yourself. Step number four is to carefully line along your top lash line. Make sure to keep the liner as close to the roots of your lashes as possible, then join that up with the wing that you've already created. Lastly, grab a black pencil liner and carefully line your top waterline. That will give you that seamless classy winged eyeliner effect that everybody wants to be able to achieve. And that's literally it. Please don't be offended by any of my examples. It's never my intention to offend you guys. I'm just trying to help. If you enjoyed this video pretty, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. And if you're not already part of the Lang fam, feel free to subscribe. Here's a picture of my face, actually. If you click that, it'll subscribe you to my channel and you can join the Lang fam. I love you guys and I'll see you um, sometime this week for another video. Bye.